Data analytics has become a very glorified job over the past few years, however it's not for everybody. In this video, I'm going to give you 10 reasons why you maybe should not become a data analyst. Don't get me wrong, I love being a data analyst, but it's not some perfect job that everybody would like and be good at. So to help combat all of the hype around data analytics, let's talk about a few of the reasons that it might not be for everybody. And if this video feels too negative, don't worry, I'm gonna balance it out by posting a new video next week about all of the reasons you should become a data analyst. All right, the first reason you shouldn't become a data analyst is if you hate numbers. As a data analyst, you're probably not going to be doing any high-level math, however, you'll be working with numbers every day and be doing some simple math and simple statistics. So, if even looking at numbers makes you nauseous, you probably shouldn't become a data analyst. Reason number two is you hate learning new things. To be good at your job and have a great career in data analytics, you need to be learning at all times. Whether this is learning new tools, learning new techniques, learning more about the business you work in, you're going to be learning new things all of the time and you have to to stay up to date. So if you don't like learning, don't become a data analyst. Reason number three is you think it's going to be easy to become a data analyst. Don't get me wrong, there is a lot of hype around data for good reason and there are a ton of data jobs out there, but data analyst jobs, especially at the entry level, are incredibly competitive. You can devote yourself, and if you work really hard, you can break into the field, but you're probably not going to become a data analyst in two months going from complete beginner. But remember, good things are worth working for. Reason number four why you shouldn't become a data analyst is you're only willing to work remote. While one of the big benefits of becoming a data analyst is workplace flexibility, only a small percentage of data analyst jobs are remote and those jobs are incredibly competitive. So if you're willing to work in person or hybrid, that can actually be a huge advantage for you whenever you're trying to become a data analyst because those jobs are less competitive. Reason number five is you aren't a self-starter. As a data analyst, you're not going to have anybody holding your hand as you go through your projects and complete your tasks. You have to have your own motivation and discipline to get things done. And also, one of the big things that you'll do as a data analyst is solving problems. So every time you run into a roadblock, you won't just be running to your manager asking what to do. You got to remember your manager has their own work to do. You should become very comfortable with using Google, YouTube, AI, and company resources to help you solve the problems as you face them. So again, you got to have the discipline and the know-how to work on your own. Reason number six goes along with the last reason, you shouldn't become a data analyst if you're uncomfortable working in ambiguity. Data analytics is kind of the opposite of working on an assembly line in a factory. When you're working on an assembly line, you're doing the same thing over and over again. Everything is super straightforward, even whenever the job is hard. However, data analytics is the complete opposite. As a data analyst, you are given problems to solve, and you might at the beginning, and you probably will, have no idea where to start or how to solve them, but it's up to you to use research with YouTube and Google, along with trial and error, to figure out how to complete something. So you got to be able to work on your own and be able to be somewhat self-reliant. Reason number seven is you don't like working with people. Sure, as a data analyst, you're going to have a lot of alone time to do all of your technical work, but you're also going to be spending a lot of time working with stakeholders to use data to solve their problems and move the business forward. So if you don't want to work with anyone ever, data analytics probably isn't for you. Reason number eight is you can't deal with corporate politics. At the end of the day, data analytics is a corporate job, so you have to deal with all the things that come with being in corporate. Honestly, this hasn't been a huge issue for me in my career. Probably the worst thing that I've had to deal with is I've had to combine trying to find the best solution to a problem with the solution that will make an upper manager happiest. But if that's the biggest issue that you're going to run into with the job, it's not that bad. But again, you should know going into it that that's something you might have to deal with. Reason number nine is you hate sitting all day. This should be obvious, but data analytics is very much so a computer career. You'll be spending all day at your job working at a computer, and that isn't for everybody. 
I personally love it, and as someone who's lucky enough to work remotely, I love that I can work from my desk, I can go to a coffee shop, I can work on the couch, but there are some people that are just miserable being stuck in a room all day, so if that's you, maybe think twice before you become a data analyst. Finally, reason number 10 is you only want to become a data analyst for promises of high pay and easy work. As I've already said, data analytics isn't some magical job that's super easy or you're gonna make a crazy amount of money doing, but it does have its perks. And I've talked a lot in this video about why you shouldn't become a data analyst, but I love being a data analyst because I love the critical thinking. I love being able to combine the technical skills with the creative skills, with the communication skills. And I love working with other stakeholders with the common goal of moving the business forward. So I would just say, if you're chasing all of these unreasonable promises down, you're probably going to be let down at some point and probably will never even become a data analyst. But if you actually find that you would enjoy the work, and I think a lot of people would enjoy being a data analyst, then I highly encourage you to go for it. Anyway, I hope this video brought some reality into what it's like being a data analyst. And as I said before, I love being a data analyst. So after all of the negativity, I'm really looking forward to next week talking about why I love being a data analyst. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And if you want to become a great data analyst, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I post a brand new video every single week helping you become the best data analyst that you can be. And with that, I'll see you next week.